we want to determine each function value. First we are given f of x equals two times three raised to the power of x plus one. To determine f of two, we substitute two for x, which gives us two times three raised to the power of two plus one. Two plus one is three, giving us two times three cubed, or three to the third power. Three to the third is equal to three times three times three, which is equal to 27. Simplifying, we have two times 27, which is equal to 54. F of two equals 54. To find f of zero, we substitute zero for x, which gives us two times three raised to the power of zero plus one, which is equal to two times three to the first. Three to the first is equal to three, giving us two times three, which is equal to six. Next, we have f of negative three. We now substitute negative three for x, which gives us two times three raised to the power of negative three plus one. Negative three plus one is equal to negative two, giving us two times three raised to the power of negative two. Using the negative exponent property shown here, three raised to the power of negative two is equal to one over three squared. One over three squared is equal to one ninth, giving us two times one ninth, which is equal to two ninths. Next we have g of x equals six times one third raised to the power of x plus one. To find g of one, we substitute one for x, which gives us six times one third raised to the power of one plus one, which is equal to six times one third squared. One third squared is equal to one third times one third, which is equal to one ninth, giving us six times one ninth. And notice how we can simplify before multiplying. Six is a fraction, has a denominator of one. Notice six and nine share a common factor of three. There are two threes and six and three threes and nine, giving us two times one third, which is equal to two thirds. Next we have g of negative one. Now we substitute negative one for x, which gives us six times one third raised to the power of negative one plus one. Negative one plus one is equal to zero giving us six times one-third raised to the power of zero. One-third raised to the zero power is one, giving us six times one, which is equal to six. And finally, we have g of negative four. We now substitute negative four for x, which gives us six times one-third raised to the power of negative four plus one, which is equal to six times one-third raised to the power of negative three. Whenever we have a fraction raised to a power, remember it applies to both the numerator and denominator. So we can rewrite this as six times one to the power of negative three divided by three raised to the power of negative three. And now to make the exponents positive, we take the reciprocal, which gives us six times three cubed over one cubed. Of course, one cubed is one, three cubed is 27, which gives us six times 27 and six times 27 equals 162. I hope you found this helpful.